Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today is Technique Tuesday. So I am sharing a fancy fold. This is the upright Z fold and you can see how it is. And it's really easy to put together and it stands up like that. It's really pretty and then you can, to mail it, you can just fold it in half just like that and mail it in your regular five and a half by four and a quarter envelope. But these are super fun to make and it is really, this one's super pretty. I love this deer on here and I wanted him to be the focal point of this card so that's why the trees in the background are done in memento black and I don't know if you can catch it on here on the but I use dazzling diamonds on uh, for snow down here and then on these two trees I didn't do the middle tree just the two side trees but oh my goodness it's super pretty I hope you can catch the dazzling diamonds on here because it does make a, a lot a big difference all right so this is what I'm sharing today so let's go ahead and get started with it all right, so what you're going to need is the Dashing Deer stamp set, which is, this is an amazing set. Look how gorgeous these are. And it's a, you need the bundle because it has framelits with it. So we have a framelit to cut out the large deer that you see on the card, this one right here. And I mean, the, de the detail in these um, antlers are uh, so pretty. Because that's the one that we're going to use to cut him out. And then look at the other ones. Look at all these little florilies and flowers. And look at the jumping um, deer and the gorgeous, there's two little ones here. This is a beautiful, beautiful bundle. So you save 10% if you buy the bundle. This will be available on the 5th, which um, I'm posting this on the 3rd. So just a couple days and you can get your hands on it. I'm using the Happiest Christmas Wishes. And then... I'm using our longest running stamp set, Lovely as a Tree, and I use this lots in the holiday season because I love this tree. It is the perfect um, pine tree, and it's super pretty, but you can use this set of trees here if you like, but I just love, love that Christmas tree there. So that's what we're using for this one. Now for... The measurements on the cardstock, you'll need a piece of, I'm using the Thick Whisper White. This is perfect for this card because it does stand up and you want that support. So this is four and a quarter by 11. Then I'm matting it with the basic black and this is four by five. And then this is for the card part and it's three and three quarters by five. And then I, I'll, you'll also need a piece of Whisper White to stamp um, the deer on. And then we're going to run him through the big shot. And we're doing a lot of embossing with this because it makes this card so beautiful when it's embossed. All right, now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to score this. And we are going to score it very simply. So we're scoring it at two and three quarters. And then we're scoring it five and a half. Now the five and a half is your halfway mark. So let me move this out of the way and I'll show you. So we're going to fold it like a Z, just like it, it says. Just like that. Make sure you sharpen your score marks because it does help for this box, or this box, this uh, card to stand. So that's how it stands. And then we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and mat it. We're going to, and then go ahead and... So you'll just cut it a little bit smaller than this basic black piece. So make sure this is centered. And then we have that. Now let's get our... Well, let's put our ribbon on while we have it here. So I'm using the, um, uh, what are they calling this? See it? The metallic edge ribbon, but it's the gold metallic. And I am just going to put a piece in the center here. I'll tell you in a minute how long this is. 
so it's about 10 inches so I'm just I'm gonna put actually do it right in the center I'm just gonna put a couple pieces uh, of adhesive there so it holds it still it makes it easier and then I'm just running it across the back And I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter. Just want that to lay on top of there. There. Alright, so we have our ribbon there. It just adds a little bit of touch of that gold behind it. And then we're ready to stamp and emboss. Let's grab our piece that's going to be our card. And I'm going to, I got the lovely as a tree, the tree. Um, right there ready to go you can see this is a well-loved stamp and I've had it for quite a while I think since I've been a demonstrator and this is our longest running stamp it's there's a reason for that it's absolutely gorgeous so we're gonna just stamp one in the middle and I'm just going straight with this one um, straight basic the uh, tuxedo black and then on the next two I'm going to stamp off to give it kind of a like a the look that it's like further back than the other two the other one so I want that one to stand out and when it's lighter it gives that look like it's a little bit further back than the one in front so can you see that alright so next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and get our embossing done now I'm going to emboss first the sentiment that I put on the bottom so I'm going to use my little static and I'm my embossing buddy <laughs> for a minute I'm thinking what do you call that again <laughs> it's been a while since I've embossed I think and we are going to just stamp that on the bottom and I'm going to speed it up because it's so noisy that I don't want to drive everybody crazy with the sound sometimes it's annoying <laughs> so we're going to use our gold emboss make sure it's covered really good and uniform Ugh, I'm making a mess and I'm going to keep it out because we're going to need it for the deer so let's go ahead and emboss that okay so we have the happiest Christmas wishes that's also from the dashing deer it's really pretty and then we'll set that aside and I'll get my embossing buddy back out rub it on there keeps that static down and then we're gonna put him on the same block that I had the tree on and we're gonna versa mark him this is absolutely gorgeous and to watch it um, emboss is it's so pretty he has like um, a little like I don't know what I want to call it jack jacker jackard print on him I can't really I can't really tell you what it is <laughs> I can't remember what it is okay so we're going to emboss him let's get our gold emboss back out make sure you put plenty on there And can you see the print on his body it's so pretty okay so we are going to emboss him okay so he is all embossed isn't he beautiful oh my goodness it's so pretty now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna emboss I'm going to punch with my three-quarter um, hole punch I'm going to emb uh, emboss I'm going to punch out a circle and whisper white and this is for the little um, top part 
and this kind of holds it up right here so when you have it up it holds it in place there okay so we're gonna do him and then what I'm gonna do is I want to emboss this so I'm just running it on the Versamark I'm just gonna try to pick it up on the edge, very teeny tiny edge and then we're gonna put that in the gold emboss and I'm gonna emboss that punch the um, little scallop. The scallop is the 7 8 inch scallop circle. And we'll have this all ready to go. So I'm going to just put adhesive on here. We're going to attach that. You can make this larger if you want. I liked it smaller. But you can make it larger if you have problems keeping it um, on. But okay, so let's get the big shot now up here. I'm going to wipe this really quickly because I have stuff all over it. Okay, now we'll bring up the big shot. out our little deer with our framelit here. Make sure he's lined up just right because he's so beautiful. You don't want to mess it up. I think that's good. This is so elegant, this reindeer. He's so beautiful. I haven't tried the leaping one yet, but I imagine it's just as beautiful. So be careful when you do his antlers because there are they are swirly and but they're so beautiful. I'm just gonna punch out these little pieces here. But look at him, look how beautiful he is. All right, so now we're ready to put it all together. So I'm going to attach him using dimensionals. So we're going to put one here on his head, and we're going to put a couple on his body. You can even put a mini dimensional on his antler. Right there. Okay, let's take these backings off. I got it on the first try, so I went back. I was thinking I didn't get it. I never get the little ones on the first try. And we're going to set him right here. And he stands out. Isn't he so pretty? Look at that. All right, so now we're going, going to attach it to the card base. And what I found easier is to put the adhesive on the base part. And then you can line it up. So we're going to put it on here. Make sure it's centered over your mat piece there. And then we're going to just put our little piece to hold it on. And you're only going to put it on adhesive. And I use the fast fuse for this only on half of it because you want half of it free to hold your card. So we'll put it right in the center. And then you'll be able to stand this up. It just slides underneath just like that. So look how pretty that is. So it's super easy, and but it's really elegant. Oh, I didn't put on the Dazzling Diamonds. I need to do that because this is absolutely gorgeous. And how I did that is I just took a little piece of Whisper White and I 
some glue on here. Let me grab my Dazzling Diamonds really quick. If you haven't used Dazzling Diamonds, they're absolutely beautiful, especially on holiday TUD cards. So I'm just, let me take that out from there, I'm just running some of our Tombow down the centers of these trees and along some of the branches. It looks like snow sitting on these and it really adds a lot. You don't even have to do this part but it's, it's just beautiful and I probably should go ahead and do one tree at a time. So can you see how it shines on there? There, it's just like little glitter. So we're going to do the same with this tree. It just steps it up a notch if you want to just step it up a little bit. It's not absolutely necessary. And then I'm going to put some along the bottom here. And it's going to be like the snow. And you don't have to be fussy because you know snow just lays. Okay, so there it is, all done. I I hope you can see the dazzling diamond in, in, on this because it's so pretty on here. So anyone, anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, September fifth, the catalog goes live when you can get the supplies for these this card. Um, also, if you need any supplies now, here's my hostess code for this month. And you can go to my blog and shop at stampingwithamore.com. So I hope you like the upright Z Fold card. It's super pretty and fun to do. So have a blessed day, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you later. Bye.